good morning beauty queeners it's beauty queen and welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be doing a day in the life with a five week old i am pre-filming this just because this is the only time i have <laughs> it is currently just after midnight it is currently it is currently 12 08 and we're just getting started she just woke up um had a feed I had to go toilet, so I put her in her swing for a couple of seconds, and now we are going to change her nappy. So I'm going to do that while the intro rolls. <laughs> I haven't yet changed Snappy, she's just calmed down enough that I can show you how cute this diaper is. We're exclusively cloth diapering and she also needs to change her clothing so I have an outfit next to me which should hopefully fit. She's a, like too big for newborn and too small for zero to three. But I found an in between like size about what she is. So I'm gonna try and put it in there and hope it fits. But let me show you this cute nappy that I have. It's just so cute. It's flowers and skulls and she's just quite happily laying here. And the cat is asleep. Well, not asleep, he's just curled up to go to sleep. But let me change her nappy. She's all dressed, aren't you? Can mommy go do a load of washing? Hey, can mommy sit you down and do a load of washing or are you gonna scream? So it does fit. It's a little bit small with the cloth nappy, but it'll be fine for tonight. Yeah. Now, I need to do a load of washing. I do my load of washing at night time because it's cheaper on our power. Luckily, tonight's not a cloth nappy night. Tomorrow is. I haven't got my cloth nappy routine down yet, but when I do, I will do a video on it. Uh, I'm still just trying to like work out it out and everything but i'm gonna go do it put her in her bassinet and then go throw a load of washing on and then i'll come back and film for you guys and kind of let you know what's gonna happen for the day it's a little bit not on our normal routine because today is a midwife day for her five week check so tomorrow oh not tomorrow next week is our last week with the midwife so it's kind of a different day i actually stay up in the mornings on midwife day just because she normally comes quite early in the morning. But I'll kind of like say what my normal is and then you'll see the normal day. It will be normal other than the midwife and me staying up when my partner goes to work. I just put the load of washing on. It's just full of like her clothes, a couple of shirts that she's thrown up on on me, her burp cloths and her changing cloths. So I just lay down a new one on the couch, one down there and I've got a new burp cloth. Yeah, she's getting a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna have to feed her, but I won't like film that or anything because it's just strange. But basically, what we do while in bed before we go down for our sleep is we binge watch Bones or whatever is on, um, and then when we go to sleep, I put the Simpsons on for background noise. But I need to feed her. Normally, so our normal routine in the mornings is when my partner wakes up. And it's finished getting ready for work. He comes in and takes her and gets me up so I can just like go toilet and just have a couple of minutes to myself. Um, and then we come back to bed. I feed her. We go back to sleep. And then normally she wakes me up about 1, 1 1.30. But on days with the midwife, I stay up when my partner goes to work. Because then I can like clean the lounge room up a little bit. And just be more awake when the midwife comes um but my days i don't really do much cleaning anymore my days are pretty much sitting on the couch watching tv and tending to her needs but she's gonna have a bath tonight hopefully we get to it sometimes we don't but most of the time we do get to it um just depends on if she's decided to sleep later which she did today or yesterday because yesterday was meant to be her bath but somebody went to sleep and didn't wake up until it was bedtime for her dad um so it's pretty boring really around here now you good yeah um i don't know what else to really say 
right now. So I'm just going to turn it off unless I remember anything. Oh yeah, I just remember what I was going to say. She normally goes down for her overnight sleep around 2.30, 3 o'clock, depending on what time she wakes up from her mini nap. So, I'm going to be up for another like two to three hours, which isn't the greatest, but I only sleep during her long sleeps. Um, I just, I can't get to sleep through her naps because I know she's just going to wake up again in a couple of hours. And it's not going to be a long nap. But other than that, oh, I've already got the spit up on my shoulder. Lovely. Other than that, there's nothing else I can really think of. I hang up the washing sometimes through the night, depending on how she is. Um, or in the morning. I feel like it's going to be a morning sort of thing because she is close to feeding at the moment. But we'll see. It is currently 1.50 and she is asleep on top of me because she's have been having nightmares. And the only way to look after when she's having nightmares is, hey baby. Hey. Well, she just threw up everywhere, but that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So I need to clean her up now. Um. And when she wakes, okay, she woke up, um, I'm just going to put her in her swing for a couple of minutes, just so I can go toilet and get us ready for bed. I, I need to brush my teeth, wash my face, and like, get the bed set up so I can sleep. Um, and then I'll change her nappy, and I will, um then feed her and put it to bed and turn my light off and put on the Simpsons as background noise. I'm going to go do that and I'll see you guys when we wake up in the morning. Unless for some reason she decides to wake up later on. So it's just after seven o'clock and I'm up. I've gone toilet and gotten dressed and all that kind of stuff. She's had a clean nappy and now she's feeding. I have an energy drink beside me just to keep me going. We'll probably go for a nap this afternoon if we have time. I if she um decides to go to sleep in the afternoon. But yeah, that's currently what's going on. Just waking up still. <laughs> she woke me up once through the night I think um which is really good normally it's a couple of times but she must have been extra tired but we didn't get to sleep until like 3 30 um I couldn't get her settled down enough to go to sleep and then it was about 3 30 when she was settled enough to go to sleep Um, but now I'm going to put Disney on and wake up a bit. I just cleaned up the couch a little bit. It's not the best, but it's better. And I also laid out my blanket because she doesn't want to go back to sleep. But she needs to sleep. So I'm hoping that by making the thing, like the couch up, and then being able to just curl up with her now that I don't have anything else to do, that she'll just go to sleep. Had to change my shirt because she decided to power chuck all over me and completely miss her burp towel. Um, let's get that off your face. She's currently sitting in the crack of the couch. Uh, it's just because I needed to put her down <laughs> somewhere and that was a safe place because I was just cleaning up the couch so I could easily get to her compared to if I was to go put her in the room or in the chair. It was quite easy just to sit her next to me while I was cleaning. Yeah, but now I'm going to quickly go to toilet and then try and get her to go to sleep before the midwife arrives just so that she can get a couple of hours nap so she's not grumpy and overtired and then I'm going to go back to Bones. I just have it on in the background 
and I'm just sitting on my phone talking to people and just doing a little bit of like catching up on like emails and that kind of stuff just because I have time to just sit on my phone and reply to emails and that kind of stuff and yeah I need to go do that <laughs> I just got to sleep She sometimes opens her eyes when she's asleep, unless she is waking up, but I don't think she is. Um, so hopefully she stays asleep for a little bit. Oh no, she's waking up. So I'm going to quickly put the TV back on so that she stays asleep before she starts crying the house down. Because she will be overtired. So I got her back to sleep at like 9-ish. And I've got the cat asleep on me as well. It's currently 9.42 and midwife's at 10.30. Um, so I also need to pee this. <laughs> so I'm going to hold off until 10 and then I'll get up and go to the toilet because I'll wake her up. And then I will um, feed her. Because then that gives her plenty of time to spill up if she needs to. And then go back on and do her muck around with that. And then it gives her plenty of time to also, if she needs to go toilet, go toilet. Um, before she gets weighed. Because we weigh her every appointment. Um, last appointment she was at 11 pound 3. And she's been going up like a pound a week. She's been, it's like she's growing massively maybe not a full pound a week but like she's she's gaining over 200 grams a week it's like closer to 300 grams a week um so i'm expecting her to be close to six kgs just because she was getting up to six kgs um last appointment so i have a feeling she will be heading up to this especially since she's been close to feeding um, because when they weigh her, she has to be, like, completely naked, no nappy, no outfit. It's just easier if I let her, like, go to toilet. She had changed just before. Um, and then just change her when the midwife comes, and then we can change her outfit when she's done getting weighed. The cat is now creeping his way up towards us, getting cuddles. Um, other than that, once the midwife leaves, I will attempt. To get myself some food once she goes back to sleep and hang up the washing um no idea how that's gonna work but i'm going to attempt it because <laughs> she should go back to sleep until about one because she normally does um and i could go to sleep but i'm just probably gonna stay up and then hopefully she goes to sleep normal time oh you're giving your sister cuddles um, yeah, I just hope she goes to sleep at a semi-decent hour in the morning instead of keeping me up to three, but coffee will keep me awake. Um, I don't normally go for a nap anyway. Normally I just sleep when my partner goes to work. I just go back to bed with her and then we just wake up for feeds and then go back to sleep and then it's like one thirty. She wakes up and I wake up just before her, which is because my body wakes me up. And then it gives me enough time to, like, get a coffee and that kind of stuff. But I don't normally nap with her unless I'm really tired. Um, I don't feel that tired at the moment. But it could get closer to one and I start getting tired. And if that's the case, then I'll take, like, half an hour nap or whatever before she wakes up. Um... We'll just see how the day goes, really, if I get a meal outside of dinner or if I'm stuck. I did get to eat two sausages this morning. Um, at about three o'clock, I had two sausages. They were left over from dinner. Um, so, we may get another meal. I also still need to pick what we're having for tea. I have a feeling I'm gonna make chicken tenders with 
baked potatoes and veg or homemade chips and chicken nuggets but I don't know just yet which one um either way I have to put think about tea once the afternoon hits so I can like cook the um potatoes because these potatoes don't like to cook we found out um Just making Dimitri stretch down. I was just making sure he wasn't like clawing her or whatever. But I'm gonna go back to TV until ten, and then I'll get up and go to toilet, and then feed her and that kind of stuff. And then I'll update you when the midwife leaves on her weight and how everything's going. My baby. It is currently eleven twenty-one, and I'm still waiting on the midwife she's almost an hour late but that's all right she could be attending a birth or whatever like i don't mind her being late um little miss is still asleep but the issue with that is is i don't want to wake her up but her nappy is full of piss i can feel it and it's like down, like the leg bit a bit. So I'm gonna have to wake her up, but I don't want to. Cause then she's gonna scream. And then it takes forever to get her back to sleep if she wants to sleep. Mm. Yeah. Mwah. So, yeah. I'm still like getting my head around how many um, inserts she needs. Just because she's so random, like sometimes I can go two hours and change her and it hasn't leaked. And sometimes within an hour she's leaked. And it's crazy. And I don't understand it. Um, I don't know if it's like her clothing is squishing the insert or what. But it's not like coming out her legs or anything. You can like tell that it's coming because the insert is so soaked. Because she's pissed a lot. So I need to double insert. But then I don't have enough inserts to double insert all of them. And then, yeah. It's just, I'm still getting my head around it. Like, she's, like, fully on cloth. It's just one of those things where it's like, uh. Um. But. Yeah, I need to work that out. Like, her nighttime ones, I'm having to do two inserts because otherwise she will leak. Because I just forget. Well, not forget. I'm too tired. And what happens is I, like, will put her on the boob and I then, like, won't even remember putting her on the boob or anything. Because I'm that exhausted. Um, I know she's feeding, though. Because my boobs are empty in the morning. But that's not the point. So, I, she goes through the night without a nap change. So, that's why I do it right with, like, her last feed before sleep. She always gets a nappy change. And the minute we wake up, she gets a nappy change. Um, which isn't that long in the long run. Like, 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock isn't that long. Or, like, 2.30. <sighs> 7 o'clock isn't that long either. A lot longer than I like, but with how she wakes up in the middle of the night, like it wouldn't even be worth it because of she wakes up right after a feed and then right before a feed, and just comfort sucks for a bit and then goes back to sleep. Oh, am I talking about you? All right, I'm gonna change the nappy. Hold up. I just put you guys next to me so I can still talk while doing her nappy change. Um, it has leaked a little bit, but that's all right. It's literally, I only changed this nappy like an hour and a half ago and normally I can, normally she gets a nappy change every two hours because that's about the point she needs one. Um, but whatever. This was such a cute nappy too. Oh, just a piss. Yeah. Well, she's the pissy one. The next one's going to be the shitty one. It always is. I literally can tell which nappies are going to have a shit in them just because I know her, like, when she shits now. 
Yeah. You need a bath. It's a big tree. But, um, yeah, it's just one of those things. And it's all, like, a learning experience. Like, I had never done cloth before. Um, ow. Dimitri, no. So, I can't really, like, say that I know what I'm doing. I just put them on and hope for the best. <laughs> I do not like this nappy. Oh, well. I got a bunch from family of nappies, and then I bought a few. And then I also bought, like, a starter pack, which had, like, a couple of nappies, roll of liners um and like everything you need to start up cloth diapering and it was like 150 dollars with free shipping which is amazing and it's from a real cool website um but it's just random prints and the only thing i said was you can like specify if you want a certain print but i didn't know what prints they had because i hadn't really looked at their stuff so I just said that I wanted girl prints because we found out that it was a, she was a girl by then. By the time I started buying, um, no, that's not yours. That's mummy's. But I didn't really care what prints I got. It was just getting everything I needed for cloth. Yeah. Oh, they're spitting up. That's okay. Her outfit's a little bit wet. Okay, we'll change you. Where's your outfit? Mm. There. I'm just going to have to take it off again when the midwife comes, but oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we'll leave you without a shirt on for a bit. I do this occasionally. I will, um... Oh. Oh, what? Take her like shirt off and just give her some air out time. Normally it's after a bath, but since this outfit was wet, I'll just give her a little bit of. Oh. Hey, stop. You've got spit up all over your neck. Yeah, and your ear. That needs to go fresh now. Hi. <laughs> She's very talkative, isn't she? Okay. And very messy, apparently. No, don't. Yeah. Yes, I'm using a normal towel. This is the one I normally used to um, dye my hair with. But I'm not dyeing my hair at the moment, so we don't need it. Oh, it went on my blanket. God damn child. Nice warm blankie to keep her warm. And to keep mummy warm. And lean back. Oh yeah, girl. She's such a talkative girl. What are you doing? Hold on. Hi. <laughs> She's just so cute. She's just staring. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go give her a feed. So I can now get my daughter dressed because the appointment's now happening. She is with a woman in labor apparently, so it's gotten rescheduled for tomorrow at lunchtime. Um, which is completely fine, like she had probably had to cancel a lot of her appointments for me. Actually. No. But that's still not the point. Um, because my labor was like through the night. Like she came to my house. Like I took her at eight thirty, and then she was here at like ten thirty, and then I delivered her just before nine. So she probably missed out on like one or one appointment. But um, it's like completely fine. It's understandable with that sort of stuff. You don't want. It. She doesn't want it. You don't want your midwife walking out for another appointment, and then you give birth without your midwife there so I completely understand 
But she's asleep. So I'm going to put her under the blanket and go toilet quickly. Um, and then when she wakes up, I will get her dressed. She's also hitting me in her sleep. She likes to hit me in her sleep. She likes to hit me non-stop. Um, so I also going to start editing this video while I have some downtime yeah. and then I'll just add to it um so I guess I'm having another long day tomorrow but it does mean I can have a nap if I want to once I get addressed but I don't know if I will we'll see how it goes I am pretty tired um but yeah so I've been able to put the, she just woke up for a feed, so I got to dressed and changed her nappy, so now she is feeding. Um, but I was able to go get the mail in, take the rubbish out, change the cat litter box, put away dishes, hang up the washing, um, and put on potatoes to boil. Oh, well, she was asleep. Um, and now I'm just filling out a questionnaire because I got my appointment to see my um, gynecologist for my endometriosis because they referred me after my c-section um so i get to see him again oh we've got milk going everywhere <laughs> um and he can meet the little girl that he delivered and didn't really get to see other than when she shat everywhere um but other than that, nothing else is really happening. I've just got to cook tea, finish filling out this questionnaire, and then just watching TV for us. But it is currently 1.13, so I still have, like, another four to five hours until my partner's home. So I have a lot of time to kill by sitting on the f my butt watching TV. But I do need to finish filling this out, so I'm going to finish feeding her and then go do that when she's burped. It is currently five o'clock and my phone's on 12%. I'm stuck on the couch because she's finally fast asleep after waking up multiple times to vomit and cry the house down. So that's nice. I also have to cook tea still. Don't know how that's gonna work. I feel like I'm gonna have to do the baked potatoes in the microwave. Which I'm not looking forward to, but whatever works. Um, would much rather do them in the oven, but whatever. <coughs> I've been biting my nails because I've been bored. Because I've been trying to sit off my phone so I could record. So I've got a dry throat. And tired. I haven't been able to sleep yet. So I will, probably won't get any sleep until... 2 33 o'clock in the morning again just to be up at seven again tomorrow um but just been sitting on the couch watching bones i kind of want snacks or something to eat but it's so close to dinner that there's no point now even though i literally had the two savoys and a quarter of a bag of chips um so not much food at all I don't know what else to say really. I'm making chicken tenders with baked potatoes and veg tonight for dinner. So that's going to be yum. I'm just going to wait for my partner to get home so he can take her so I can actually cook it. And then he's going to, he'll game like probably the whole night. So I think the only other thing I'd be filming is like the food when it's cooked to show you guys and her bath which I won't actually film her on the bath but like getting ready for the bath and that kind of stuff there's nothing really exciting going on to be honest nothing ever is it's just looking after that little girl but it did just get announced that we're going down to level two so that's good um by the time you see this video, you know, they could have changed all over again. 
but because next week she's got to get her six week um vaccinations my cat is overdue for his vaccinations and i have my gyno all next week <laughs> um it's good that we're going down to level two because my mum can come in and like take me to the appointments just so that my partner doesn't have to take the day off because I can do all three appointments in the same day but it would be like a full-on day and my partner can exactly take off a Thursday um, in the middle of the week especially with it being lambing so it's just easier that way and it saves me having to walk everywhere my friend is at 10% because my doctor's is one direction and then the hospital's on the other side of town and then my vet is on the other side of town again so it's like I would be going all over town walking and I'm not up for that so I'm very glad that we're going down and hopefully we stay down at least until past Thursday so that I can get my mum to come help because otherwise I'm stuffed. Ooh. All right, I'm going back to Bones because my friend's on 10%. So she's currently feeding yet again, um, but I got bored of watching Bones so I'm about to put some YouTube on. It's past six o'clock now it's like 605 and i'm still waiting for my partner to come home he should be home within like an hour he's normally seven o'clock latest um and then i can cook tea yeah and you can give daddy cuddles um but yeah nothing much else to update on we've just been sitting here watching tv yeah it's 6 25 my partner just got home and i just got her down for sleep so she's very easily woken so i get to go cook tea now dinner is served and baby has been fed so now i can eat i've now eaten dinner and i've had a shower where my partner is just emptying out the bath from her other bath because we haven't gotten around to it yet and then is going to run her her bath so i need to get her ready for her bath so I'm going to lay her down and grab everything I need for the bath and take it into the bathroom. And then I'll get her ready for her bath and she's smiling. So just getting everything ready. So I'm just going to quickly do that and then I will film for you guys. She's smiling. <laughs> what are you doing? Um... I'll film for you guys as I'm getting her ready for her bath. But I just need to grab everything for her bath. So, let's get her ready for her bath. We grab wipes. Don't we? We grab wipes. And I need your massage oil. So I can grab it without the box hitting her head. <laughs> Mummy did it. Mummy's so smart. So I need this after her bath. But let's get her ready for her bath. She's so excited. She loves her baths. Oh. Um, she absolutely adores having baths because then she gets a baby massage afterwards. Yeah. I think she's also happy because she wanted her mummy, but mummy wanted to shower quickly because of all the vomit. Oh, she just vomited. Speaking of vomit, um, but. We just get, this is failing, hold up. Um, we just, oh, that went everywhere. Oh, well, there's getting a bath. <laughs> I always, when my partner's filling up the bath and everything, I just grab everything and put it in the bathroom. So she's got a towel in there, a washcloth to wash her, um, as well as, Ugh. Ugh. She's not making this easy on me. Um, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> no, we're not leaning our head back, honey. <sighs> Stop fighting. Almost got it. Almost got it. Ooh. We've got 
on the nose. There we go. Um, as well as a cup of my off milk, which is breast milk. Um, it's just I left it in the fridge too long before packaging it up, so it's just gonna be used. And I can put those two outfits in the wash. Um, and then I just get her out of her outfit, take the nappy off clean her up and all that good stuff and then when we're out of the bath she gets some nappy free time and then she gets a baby massage and then a new nappy and um she just gets to enjoy life yeah and then she gets dressed for bed I'm hoping because she hasn't had many wake periods today that she'll sleep well because she's having a bath. But we'll see. Please don't shit right now. But I hope she doesn't shit. Um, <laughs> it'd just be mummy's life. I'm going to turn the camera off and go do that. I don't know how much I'll update through the night, but we will see how it goes. It's the next day. Um... I went to sleep at about midnight and just woke up to feed her. She's asleep at the moment. Um, but other than that, nothing really happened. I didn't even get the washing on last night. I loaded up the washing machine and I fell asleep before I even turned it on. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, that's going to be that for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching my boring ass day. That is literally all I do, really. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.